So how would you describe the terroir in Chablis? You know, there is something very famous in, uh, in Chablis, which is the Kimi region soil. Very typical of the region. This is a blend of clay with uh, small oyster shells that are about uh, 5 to 10 millimeters long. And they are dating from uh, 150 million of years. And this is very characteristic of the Chablis soil. So we have enough clay when the weather is very dry to keep the water. But also it's very stony and deep slopes that makes a good drainage. That's the way you get, you can get every year fruit of good quality. And Chablis is known for being a very, very crisp, minerally version of Chardonnay. And if you compare it to, to California Chardonnay, it's almost like they're completely different animals. It is almost different animals, I fully agree, you know, because climate is the most important point. It's always, to my opinion, when you play on the edge that you get the best results. Chardonnay, the most northern Chardonnay as a steel wine is Chablis. Then the next step is Champagne and they had to put bubbles to make it good and drinkable because this is the limit for the ripeness. It's always where you get the most interesting things when California, like the south of France, like all the countries of the New World, you have plenty of sun, uh, it's a completely different story. You know, you make something generous, round, big, but I'm not uh, talking about uh, finesse, elegance, uh, lightness.